With the Alder system, you have a huge scope to actually customize the vehicle for your needs. For all the years that we've been doing this, we've not actually had a vehicle come in that we weren't able to design a system for. Um, to give you an example, if you're traveling off grid, you can have an engine vehicle heat exchanger. It will actually allow you to get your hot water and your central heating off the engine while it's traveling, saving you fuel. One of the great things about the Alder system is that it allows you to actually travel all year round, no matter what the season. The floor heating inside the vehicle that you can have will allow you to dry your boots out, walk around inside the, the vehicle, have a nice warm floor, even when it's snowing outside. The first part of the process would typically be to come to us with a plan. Uh, it doesn't have to be a, a computer CAD design. It can just be written down on the back of a postcard. Um, from that, we'll look with the customer at what the layout is, what the design is, and we'll actually build a bespoke system for them that matches their needs. The process from start to finish, from bringing us a plan to actually us delivering a heating system, can actually be as short as a day. We can work through the drawing together while the customer's here and actually go and pick the parts and deliver them the kit that they can take away with them. The Alder system is a hydronic heating system, so that means that you actually have fluid flowing through the pipes around the vehicle. And the pipe work itself is made up of aluminium pipe, or you can use plastic if you want, and rubber joints. The, the beauty of that is that the system can be adapted to any type of vehicle and any type of layout. The process of actually fitting an Alder system is actually incredibly simple. You've already got your plan, so you take your radiator or your boiler, you start at that point and from there you work your way along. The nice thing about the way the system works, you don't require any plumbing skills to actually do it. It's incredibly simple. You push the pipe on, move the clip along, work your way around the vehicle until you get back to where you started. Simple as that.